guys, it's Berlin here at Plan With B. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a different video than my norm. If you guys do follow my channel, you guys are usually seeing videos about planners, organization, functionality, and how to be productive. However, my channel is also about lifestyle, and so there will be other videos peppered in that are not about planners. However, I am going to be doing like an unbagging today of a small leathered good, something that I picked up at the coach outlet recently that I am loving, and I'm going to share with you guys what that is. I absolutely love handbags. That is something that I really enjoy. So I love when I find a good bag that's of good quality at a great price, and coach is one of those stores for me. I think they have great bags and they have really affordable prices trust me you guys i love all the designer bags out there i wish i could own a bunch of louis vuittons and gucci and everything like that but it's just not in the cards for me it's not a priority for me to invest in those bags at this time in my life maybe sometime in the future but right now i just have other plans ahead of that so i love when i find these bags that i just fall in love with and they're at such great prices so i'm going to share with you guys what i have picked up so if you guys are interested in that then just stay tuned okay so this this is the little guy that I just recently picked up. It is so cute. I love it so much. I was absolutely drawn to it as soon as I saw it hanging on the wall in the coach outlet. So I want to just show you guys. You guys might be thinking that, hey, Berlin, you have had a bag similar to this that you shared in your What's in My Bag. And yes, that is true. Right over here, you guys can see. Oh my goodness, she is absolutely stuffed. You guys see how bad that is. It's so stuffed. This is my Coach Jess crossbody. I love this bag. It's such a great everyday carry size bag. And I love the casual look of it. I love the strap to it. And I love how it's embossed here. There's an entire video where I feature this bag and I show you guys what's in it over on my channel if you guys want to check it out. However, I am moving into a larger everyday bag because I find that I can't fit everything that I need when I'm going to like work and stuff in here. So I end up carrying like a canvas bag on top of this and I don't want to have to lug around a bunch of bags. So I'm going into a larger which bag. Which I'm going to be doing an upcoming video on because it's a great alternative to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. But I'm going to be moving into that bag and I also wanted something small. So the reason why I wanted a smaller bag is because when I am just out and about maybe i'm just having like a girl's day or maybe like a family day maybe we're walking around the city maybe we decide to go walk around the um, beach towns or something like whatever it is we decide to do i don't want to have to lug too much around i want to be kind of hands free and things to be lightweight so i wanted to get a smaller bag that could also fit into my larger bag so i can like have it with me and when i want to just pull it out and use a smaller bag i have it and i'm going to share that all with you guys in my upcoming video but I'm going to share with you today everything about this little bag here, the size, the measurements, some mod shots, as well as what fits inside of it. So let me get the tags out here so I can share exactly what it's called. And let me see here. So inside here, you do get the care instructions, of course, as you always do with Coach. And this is the tag. So this is called the Pebbled Leather Belt Bag. It doesn't seem to have an exact name. It does say Jacks right here, but I don't think that has anything to do with it because usually the name is up a line higher. So this is the Pebbled Leather Belt Bag, and it's in the color chalk. So it's like this pretty cream color. And the strap has this like brown and cream, which I just love. I love these types of straps because they are just a little more casual looking. They tend to go with my casual outfits a lot better because that's just how I dress. And I do like the strap. It's very well made. It has some bits of leather on it as well. The hardware says coach on it. And I like how the ends of it have like the leather tabs because it just kind of makes it a little more luxurious. And the hardware on this bag is a gold color. So there's a bunch of different colors and styles of these. They don't all have this embossed logo on it, which I personally just like. My coach Jess Crossbody has that but they do have other ones that have the signature canvas. They have ones that are just kind of like solid colors with the hardware on it. They have a bunch of different styles. They even have specialty ones with like different, um, I think it's like a superhero theme right now. And I think they have one with stars on it or something. They have a bunch of different patterns, but you guys can check that out. So the reason why I decided to get this bag was number one, look how adorable it is. I love it but it is so versatile and I'm going to show you guys in my mod shots what I mean by that, but this can be worn as a crossbody. It has a crossbody strap and I'm plus size and this still is long enough to fit crossbody on me. I've always had trouble in the past with bags being too short when I wore them crossbody and this actually fits great on me and it has an adjustable strap and what I really like is that this is so easily adjustable. You don't have to like 
take it off to adjust it. While this is on your body, you can slide this up and down until you get just the right length that you guys want. So it has the crossbody, or you can wear it like a shoulder bag, or you can wear it like a chest bag if you want something higher, or you can wear it kind of like a sling style backpack bag, if you guys know what I mean, like where you wear it across your back diagonally. Um, and also it comes with a belt and on the back side has these belt loops that you put this through and i'm going to give you guys the measurements on all this stuff shortly but the belt also does fit me and again i am plus size so that is fantastic i'm always afraid that things like this won't fit right because usually they're too small um but i actually fit in the belt sizes right around the last two holes here so it has the belt strap as well which just makes it so versatile and then on top of that you could take the strap off completely and if you want to you could use this as a clutch or like a pouch inside your purse or you can if you have like a wristlet strap hook the wristlet strap on the side here and just carry it like a wristlet or like a mini strap or if you have like a little chain you know they have like the really pretty um dark coach signature canvas one that would look really pretty with like a gold chain on it or something but i just feel like it's so versatile this one little bag has so many options on how to wear it so i thought it was perfect for something to just have on hand for all those occasions when you just want something very lightweight to have with you so we're going to get into the measurements of this bag as well as some mod shots right now So I do want to get some measurements for you guys just so you guys know. So I'm going to get my little tape measure out here. So it's about 7 inches wide and about a little over almost 4 and a half inches tall. It's like 4 and a quarter inches tall. And then the width of it at the base is about 2 inches wide. And the strap at its longest, the drop from the top to the bag would be about a 22 inch drop from where it would sit on your shoulder to the top of the bag so this actually is pretty long it's a decent size for a crossbody i also want to measure the belt for you guys so i'm going to measure how long the belt is but the hole does start here so i'll also measure it that way for you guys so let's measure the entire belt first so from the very tip of the belt to the other tip which would be the very end of the buckle here it's a little over 47 inches long now let me just get a measurement of how long it would be from the last hole so from the last hole which would make it at its largest size to the actual nub here that goes through the hole it is 43 inches so on the last hole here if your waist is 43 inches you are able to wear this i'm able to wear the belt i do wear it on these last two here okay, you guys so just for fun i want to see what will fit into this bag so i'm just going to pull some stuff out of my purse over here and see what types of things will fit so I already know the iPhone 11, which is the phone that I have, fits in here great with a bunch of wiggle room. And I have a bulky case on my iPhone as well as a pop socket and a wallet on the back of my phone. And that all fits in here great as well as other things that can fit in here. Also inside the bag, on the front here, you have two slip pockets on the side here for cards. And on the back side, you have a larger slip pocket that you can put things in. And then it's just all open in here. So we're gonna see, other than my phone, because I know that that fits, what else can fit in here. So I have my coach card holder, of course, and that fits in here perfect in that little slot back there. Um, a pack of gum will fit in here great. I have this little like checkered print pouch. It's supposed to kind of look like the Louis Vuitton Damier, if I'm saying that right. Um, pattern, it's not, it's not real. It's just something I got off Amazon a long time ago, but it's great to hold just little things. That fits in there great, and I could still fit my phone in here. I know my keys will fit in here fine as well. Um, for all of my viewers that follow me for like my planner stuff, I'm gonna see if a Tombow fits, and it does not. It's ever so slightly too long for in here. You might be able to fit it slanted, let's see. No, okay, it won't fit slanted either. But just so you know for size reference, a Tombow marker is much longer than a regular like mild liner or pen. So I'm gonna just show you here's a regular pen. You can see how much longer that is, but a standard pen will fit in there perfectly. Um, let's see what else. I could fit like my little perfume in here. 
my hand sanitizer. This one smells so good, you guys. I love the cranberry peach. It's always out around the holidays. So if you guys like the sound of cranberry peach, you guys have to pick it up. It smells so good. And then I could fit like some other little things in here. A cough drop. If I want to put some hair ties in there. If I want to fit a chapstick, which this is the best. I love this raw sugar chapstick. I go through these all the time. This is the lemon sugar one. So good. Um, I want to see if I can also fit like a charger in here. So let me just pull out some charger cords. So you can see here some chargers if I wanted to put them in here. I can fit a hand cream, which you guys know this is one that I really love. I have a bunch of these. And there's some eye drops. You can really pack quite a bit in here, like if you're just out and about for the day. So you can really just figure out what you need for the day when you're out. But this fits quite a bit. Now, with all this stuff in here, I might be able to squeeze my phone in the side. I could probably slip my phone in the side here, but I'm not going to because I'm filming on it. So I can't show that to you guys. But that's quite a bit of stuff to fit into this little itty bitty tiny bag i mean that's actually pretty good and because of it being like this very flexible leather you can really kind of stretch it out a little bit to squeeze things in and just for fun i am going to see not that i would be carrying around my planner in this small tiny bag if i was using this i'm not lugging around a bunch of stuff for the day it's some it, it would be an outing where i wouldn't need my planner but I just want to see for fun if this would fit. So this is a pocket size, which is an A7 ring Moterm planner. So if you guys follow me for my planning, you guys know this is the planner I'm using. And it's pretty thick. It's stuffed. Let us see if it fits in here. Wow. I'm actually kind of surprised at how well it does fit in here. Like it's, there's still room like to the back of it that you can fit stuff down there. But you can see the corners, even if I took the pen off, the corners here of the planner as well as the clasp is kind of sticking out. So I would not be able to zip it shut. But that's kind of cool to see for size reference that that would fit in here if I wanted to just leave it unzipped. But again, I wouldn't be carrying this around in here if I was going out and just using this. It would be because I was going out for an outing that I just want very minimal with me. I'm going to see about my passport planner though. So this is my little mini Michael Kors planner. It just stays at home, but it is small and I used to use this like on the go. I did a video on this little planner if you guys are interested and I have tons of videos on my pocket size planner if you guys are interested in that. But I just want to see if this will fit in because this is smaller than the pocket size planner. So yes, this does fit. So if you have like a small passport holder, that'll fit in here as well. You can also use like a passport holder as a wallet too and have a little planner inside. But I would still definitely be able to fit my phone in here and my keys, like a chapstick, my card holder. So that's just great. And this is just so versatile and so, so cute. I love this little bag. I'm so excited to use this. If you guys are looking for a small bag, check this one out. It is so versatile and so adorable. And they have so many different colors and prints and different looks to them. So check those out at your nearest coach outlet or the coach outlet store. I'll also try to link below if I find it anywhere that I can link this bag. I will link it down below for you guys, as well as some of the items that you guys saw in today's video. If you guys are interested in anything that you guys saw and be sure to stay tuned for an upcoming video I'm going to do on my larger handbag that I'm moving into and how I plan on using that and how it is an LV Speedy 30 alternative. And I just think it's a great one. So be sure to check back for that. Until then, you guys, I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, everybody.